As we all know, uh, 2020 has been a very rough year on us all. You know, uh, definitely much rougher than 2021. And so, I'm making this video to acknowledge, uh, you know, essential workers. You see, here's the thing. Uh, Here's the thing about uh, the development of Higglytown Heroes. Jeffrey U Ulin came up with the idea, like in the wake of 9-11, like either, so either late 2001 or early, early 2002. Jeffrey Ulin developed the idea for uh, yeah, Jeff Ulin wanted to like uh, yeah, Jeff Ulin remembers when, you know, because, because, uh, first responders were, you know, such as, uh, you know, firefighters and medics were all, uh, since they were all the, you know, the heroes of 9-11, um, that's why Jeff Ulan wanted to do a preschool series that spotlights everyday heroes. And managed to do it all without any 9-11 subtext whatsoever. It's a far different type of situation than that Arthur episode, April 9th, which aired in the year 2002. Focusing on four different characters with uh, their own perspectives and different means of dealing with the, the tragedy of a, a fire breaking on the school. It's the Mysterious Messenger's 29th admirable animations video. But yeah, the point of all of this is, um, yeah, I love Higley Town Heroes, and if Playhouse Disney or Disney Junior wants Higley Town Heroes to come back, uh, well, you know, if I remember correctly, the Higley Town Heroes series actually premiered on, uh, started airing on September 15th, 2004, so that's exactly three years and four days after 9-11. So, I guess I could assume that's, you know, maybe that's how, it probably took about three years for George Evelyn, Holly Huckins, Dennis Morella, Kent, Red Decker, and, and Jeff Ulin to, and, I mean, and produced the whole first season. It was kind of a big run three seasons. Seasons of episodes. But yeah. But yeah, in the wake of COVID-19, you know, COVID-19 helped many people uh, you know, watching their local news or YouTube videos of people talking about it that uh, other people talking about uh, their experience or witness uh, of essential workers that uh, yeah COVID-19 is another big uh, ill world tragedy where we need to recognize the everyday heroes in our world and look at essential workers like doctors, firefighters, teachers, and more, all which have been, and uh, grocery store clerks, all, all which have been, have uh, had a Higley Town Heroes episode where they're a Higley Town hero. Actually, kind of, uh, 
It's actually kind of cool to uh, speculate how Higley Tone Hero's characters might deal with COVID-19 and what Higley Tone Hero would come in to, would, uh, come in to rescue them and give them a vaccine. But yeah, a lot of great essential... But yeah, the, the thing I like about Higley Tone Heroes is even though the original Higley Tone Heroes series Started uh, that was insp was uh, inspired by like that this the first responders of 9/11 and was scheduled to premiere four days after the three-year anniversary of of 9/11. It managed to pull off a lot of political subtext, which is why um, you know. It actually might be valuable or without any, uh, you know, political baggage, which is why, uh, you know, there's probably all other sorts of situations in which the Higley Town Heroes could find themselves, which I mean, which the main characters of Higley Town Heroes could find themselves, like, you know, maybe, but yeah, I sort of figured that after COVID-19 made all the problems with our corrupt American government even more obvious, that uh, that may be yeah maybe maybe there could be a maybe the maybe the co-creators and original guys of Piggly Town Heroes could work on it would maybe Maybe on the Disney Plus, which has been streaming the original Hitler Town Heroes since April 2nd, 2021. Maybe, maybe Disney, maybe, maybe for, maybe Disney Plus could have, it might be kind of cool to see if Disney Plus made like, you know, a slightly edgier reboot of Hitler Town Heroes where they also have to deal with, where some of the time they also have to deal with Vigley Town villains and the, and then there's the Hitler Town Heroes who will stop this, who will, uh, stop this uh, corruption. Obviously it's bound to get a little political, but with a few, but with the best directors on hand, I know they can uh, save it from getting too political, like my little pony new generation. Forgotten. But yeah. But yeah. That's, but yeah, that's what I like to say about such workers. Yeah, the essential workers, you know, the doctors, firefighters, teachers, grocery store clerks, everyone who's uh, still, anyone who's still uh, working during the pandemic, and restaurant workers too. Yeah, like the waiters, that's also been a Hickory Town Hero once in, in wait, wait For Me. Yeah, as we all know, um, yeah, we're essential work. Yeah, like I said, you know, we like one on, on the news said, we're essential workers, but we don't get treated like essential workers. So that's why I proposed a plausible solution where they could be treated like essential workers. Just raise the wages, and and don't prove Winston Churchill right when he said you can always count Americans to do the right thing after this and everything else. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it certainly helps to uh, get more employment by by uh, lowering the requirements for employment, like the degrees you get in high school or college. But yeah, it's ob it should be obvious to everyone by now, to every person with humanity by now, that uh, yeah, no one wants to work in an economy where it's, t no one wants to work in an economy where 
it's too expensive for regular paying jobs to afford rent or groceries, or electricity. And that's why lots of people who survived COVID-19 for over a year have tended to their own independent entrepreneurial businesses, uh, especially if they're online. Like, uh, I mean, I mean, one of the few good things about living in 2020 is that, uh, at least before the, at least uh, before the pandemic arrived this year. We had, you know, uh, middle class people have had uh, all of the, have uh, had plenty of resources to, uh, to communicate to people online from their homes. And YouTube, you know, YouTube is, uh, you know, YouTube was, uh, YouTube was uh, open for public use since the beginning of 2006, and it has gotten incredibly mainstream in our world since the beginning of 2010. So you could look on YouTube for just about uh, any topic you want to learn these days. But yeah, every essential worker deserves a, but yeah, every single essential worker deserves to have deserves to have a Christmas bonus or either that or triple pay before they before they quit due to not having enough uh, due to not being paid enough right thirty years ago in the awful times of peak Reaganomics Creating the new, creating the crowd's modern mindset of of conservative government to to uh, only help the rich people while claiming socialism bad for everyone else. Something I told with which I totally disagree. The, Corporations or the monopolies have all the power, and we're again over the workers. But, but fortunately, technology and online communication has advanced far enough by the beginning of the 2020s that uh, anyone can just have anybody can just anybody can just invent their own business. And market it online from home. Before it was safe for some for some states or cities or towns to have in-person classes again in the fall of 2021. I know the COVID-19 pandemic has been going on for about two years now, but. Uh, I certainly hope it doesn't last forever, certainly not more than five years. But yeah, but yeah, when people can start their own business or get it, but yeah, when people start their own business or the, or the pandemic helps people come to terms with why they, or the pandemic helps people to come to terms with how bad their job or or useless their job is when they don't get paid the benefits they deserve for it. That's why they quit they quit on their workplace if they were not already fired. And you know this is actually this is a fantastic loophole around union busters. When four people quit their jobs at once, it's just another day of the house. But when four million people around the nation quit, 
then you got a big problem that you absolutely have to fix with with new health benefits, tuition benefits, and pay raises. Instead of bosses trying to do everything they can to save money by encouraging a massive turnover, so they, just to avoid, just so they could avoid giving out the benefits they promised most of the time. But yeah, the. But yeah, with the big revolution going around the United States that the COVID-19 pandemic has caused, especially regarding essential workers, like my mom, who's a nurse, uh, yeah, yes, we all need to fight back against the GOP that is trying to get rid of elections forever. And, uh, and, uh, let the monopolists who are ironically capitalists that push an anti capitalist message by taking out competition. We got it. We got it. We all need to work together to teach the monopolists of our government that lobby for it to uh, hide information that would and spread misinformation to uh, just to protect the profits of the of the sugar, fossil fuel, and pharmaceutical industries. Yeah, yeah, let those greedy dirtbags and rich jerks know that the United States isn't all about them. Unless they know, unless they're using all the, unless they're using their billions of dollars to find a secret way to live forever. They can't keep the entire country under control of their business forever. The power of them and the GOP can only last for as long as the rest of their lives. Unless they know how to haunt us and scare us from beyond the grave. And the need of the government as a ghost. A zombie. But yeah, I'm sure if you uh, look or think hard enough, you can figure out which everyday heroes could advocate for universal health care, paid parental leave, and free college you know, de debt or you know, debt-free college tuition in the United States, who can hold all of those January 6th to insurrectionists accountable and put all of them in prison for at least four years. Because as we all know, if, if you've seen Star Trek, the original series, you would know this iconic quote from Spock, the needs of the many, as in the needs of the non-wealthy many, outweigh the needs of the few, the wealthy few who don't care about us. Because here's the real thing about government, okay? Government is government is about caring for the many governed, not just. I mean, government is about serving the many who are governed, not the few who are doing the governing. And you know, I, I've seen I've seen quite a few Pixar films with lots of great messages about 
lots of great subtle messages to think this. You know, like, uh, like in The Incredibles, we, uh, I know to hate, uh, we know to hate Gilbert Huth, the Mr. Krell's boss from his shirt care, because he thinks, he thinks we're only supposed to help our people. What about our stockholders, Bob? Who's helping them out? My answer, no one needs to, because your stockholders already have enough money. And all of you selfish jerks should learn how to live with less. Sort of like Mr. Beast. Or Dan Price. Especially Dan Price. And uh, in Cars, you know. And this is especially brilliant coming from George Carlin, you know, because he, he voiced Fillmore in the first Cars film. Lightning McQueen asked him, you know, why he's never heard about Fillmore's organic fuel. And Fillmore said, It's a conspiracy, man! The oil companies have got a grip on the government! They're feeding us a bunch of lies, man! <laughs> That's so George Carlin. And in Toy Story 3, Jesse said to Lasso, This isn't a family, it's a prison. You're a liar and a bully, and I'd rather rot in this dumpster than join any family of yours. Which is a special, which it especially rings true for anti-union workplaces who claim to be a family. And then Barbie said, Jesse's right. Authority should derive from the consent of the governed, not from the threat of force. <laughs> Take that, January 6th insurrectionists. So yeah, we need Higley Town heroes who will hold the who will hold the U.S. government accountable for not doing the jobs that it should be doing, caring for average and poor U.S. citizens instead of only helping themselves. And by the way. I'm fed up with all the added sugar we got. I mean, you know, we don't need sugar in our food to, in ordinary non-sweet food, to, buy, to want to buy more of it. Food is an everyday necessity. I'll take my whole wheat bread and ketchup without sugar or high focus corn syrup. Thank you very much. And uh, th this goes for you too, Signature Select. Signature Select, you make lots of great quality foods, but why don't you think you could do without the added sugar? Please, just for me, for us, just for your own personal community. Well, that's all I gotta say about Higley Town Heroes and Essential Workers. Or should I say, Higley Tube Heroes! <laughs> if we did have new Higley Town Heroes with new sorts of heroes, we could combat the problems we got from COVID-19. I'd absolutely love to see Karen Fukuhara voice a social media influencer because she's a cool new celebrity and voice actor from Craig of the Creek and the Boys who I'd love to see voice a new Hickley Town hero if a reboot ever happens. 